cited a few examples here there, but I think I have to sort of bring everything together. Uh, look, I'll, I'll start with Oracle, right, my current company. So I think Oracle sort of has a statement. Um, in fact, it takes pride in what it does. It says that, you know, um, I think by 2025, or full 100% of uh, sort of, uh, they want to use sort of renewable energy or uh, by 100%, like complete by 2025, right? I think so that's, that's a massive statement to make. Mm. Even there's a statement of saying that, you know, there's, there's, they actually recycle, Oracle actually recycled and reused almost 100% of retired hardware in FY22. So which means in all this year, whatever hardware was retired, it was recycled, right? 99.9%. So how good does, does it get, right? So that's probably on the tech side, I think on the Apple as well, I think is committed to having, you know, 100% carbon neutrality by 2030. Uh, across their supply chain and product life cycle. Mm -hmm. um, I think on the retail side, right? I think this is why I said I think it's pretty interesting on the retail side. So I think Lacoste, one of my sort of favorite brands uh, that, I, that I love wearing is, mm -hmm. they actually, what they did was, I'm not sure you saw that marketing sort of, it was, it's actually a great sustainable marketing campaign, in fact, where mm -hmm. they said that, look, you know, this Lacoste, the, the crocodile logo on their yeah. TVs, um, it's sort of the prominent, right? It's been there. Very it's famous been there brand ever since. in Canada as well. <laughs> Uh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, so I think massive French brand. Where everyone recognized that crocodile logo. They yeah. said, "Guess what? Because the environment is under threat, they basically replaced the crocodile logo with ten sort of threatened species that basically might get extinct very soon if we don't care about them." And they basically had these sort of ten threatened species instead of the crocodile logo. So there were ten separate different prototypes, and each of them had different sort of the animals wow. uh, who were getting threatened. How would you as a brand think of changing your main logo of crocodile, moving it away and putting other animals out there? Think about that. I mean, that's a massive step to take. And it's almost like threatening your own brand presence. But no, it, it was probably one of the, I think it won a couple of awards at a couple of ceremonies. So I think that was sort of awesome in terms of very bold step to take, but it is pretty awesome in, the, in terms of how they sort of moved ahead with it. Of course, I think, like I said about Levi's, um, I, when I was there at Levi's, I think they had a campaign called Buy Better, Wear Longer, so which is about, you know, are you making sure that the product that you're wearing is sustainable? And yes, you know, Levi's takes pride in what it builds uh, in terms of the amount of water used and the cotton that is sourced and so on. So yeah, so I think these were some of the few examples that come top of my head.